Okay, hello. <laughs> okay, hello guys. Thank you for your patience. The third part of the tutorial is finally here. Um, first of all, thank you so much for all your, again, your patience, your support and everything. Actually, uh, I wanted to record this uh, tutorial yesterday. Actually, I recorded it, but uh, my computer decided not to record it and save it. So, okay, I think that was a good news because yesterday I tried to record it at I don't know, 2 in the morning, 2 a.m. So I was kind of uh, destroyed. So I think it was, a, it was a good thing that it didn't record it. So I get fresh to, today and make it a good, good tutorial. Okay, so let's get into it. Um, we are going to uh, make a basic rig for our model. Um, I'm going to... Okay, perfect. Uh, as a suggestion, um, use your multi-resolution in a lower level, like in two. Okay, so we are going to press Shift A uh, to add an armature, single bone. In our properties, in armature, we are going to click in front. I think that my face is in the way. Uh, here is it, in front, into the armature, in front so we can see the the actual bone okay so uh, I am going to add another uh, view front view and go to edit mode uh, we are going to extrude the bones we'll grab them with graph with G of graph E extrude and hmm. we want this uh, places the legs and the arms so we want have a joint in here uh, we're going to the neck and the head uh, I'm going to select the head and duplicate it with shift D to make the jaw uh, and if we go to pose mode, we can see that if we move our head, uh, the jaw doesn't move. because That's because this bone is parented to this bone. So what are we going to do is uh, in edit mode, uh, press Y. Uh, y is to split the bones. And after that, we are going to select this and this and parent. Keep offset. This way, uh, when we move this bone, the jaw will move too. Perfect. Okay, so uh, in edit mode again, we are going to continue with the uh, tail. Okay, um, the hips like this. Okay, uh, we are going to rename these bones with uh, left, no, sorry, right. So here in the bone properties, I'm going to make this hip.r. Uh, we have to put the r, the dot r as right, so we can symmetrize the, the whole armature. So again, hip to dot r. After that, here so upper leg dot right hmm. okay i am going to make this the control bone so i will put uh leg no the inverse kinematic control leg inverse kinematic dot r hmm, i put two r's R. Okay. This will be our control. So leg control dot R. And I am going to make the fingers. So one, two. This will be the middle finger. Middle finger dot R. Uh, middle finger two dot R. 
and I am going to uh, duplicate these bones so we can put the other fingers with shift D, X axis, uh, R to rotate and Z to rotate on the Z axis. Awesome. Mm, like this. Good. So this is the outer outer finger dot R outer finger to dot R okay and again with the inner fingers shift D X axis rotate set axis okay uh middle finger no uh inner finger dot R uh inner finger two dot r okay i need to cut my hair okay so uh we are going to split the oh that bef that that will be after okay uh we are moving on to the arms we will select this part of the bone extrude it again like it's the the legs i'm going to actually uh hide these ones with h and this one to H. So this will be the collarbone dot R. Uh, like here. Color ah collarbone to dot R. You can rename or you can name your bones as you wish. Uh, maybe I am wrong, but uh, I am used to that. And maybe I need to study biology again. <laughs> uh, so choose your own uh, names uh, so you can get familiar with them. Okay, uh, this will be, I think that will be sh the shoulder, I guess. Uh, whatever. This here and here, we are going to the upper uh, view. Let's go. So we have this name. Yes, this will be arm dot r and tiny arm two dot r okay um i think that we are ready we are going to set up the inverse kinematics so we are going to the control leg uh split it and we are going to parent these bones to the uh, control with control p keep offset Okay, and we will do the same with this one. Split. And parent. Uh, no, no, we don't have to parent. This is parent? No. Yes, perfect. So after that, we are going to pose mode. In pose mode, we are going to select our inverse kinematic bone. And here, uh, yeah, we can see it. Here, add bone constraint, uh, inverse kinematics. Awesome. We are going to set up the target to our armature. Bone will be control, mm, leg control. And we are going to set up these bones uh, in uh, chain length. We need one, two, and three bones to have the control of. Okay. So when we grab our control bone, uh, maybe I went too far, just three. Oh. My dumb mouse uh, sometimes makes double click without I want it to. So, yeah, it's kind of weird. Uh, maybe two. No. <laughs> Did you saw that? I just pressed one. Okay. Perfect. <laughs> Let's go. So, we are going to make that with the arm too. Uh, we will take our inverse kinematic arm. We will set inverse kinematic. Armature bone will be the arm two. And we need a uh, two chain length. Okay, perfect. So now our arm is ready. Um, with the tail too, um, this is optional. This is if you want. Uh, it will be a little bit easier to animate. So we go again to edit mode. Why? We will rename this again like tail inverse kinematic. Uh, select this and this will be the tail control. 
again in object constraint uh where is it ah uh, we have to go to post mode we cannot add the inverse kinematics in edit mode so we go to post mode um, object constraint uh any Where's my inverse kinematics? Hmm. Because we were not in <laughs> bone constraint, we were in object. Okay, add bone constraint, inverse kinematics. Again, amateur bone will be the tail control. Tail control, and we will need to move one, two, three three bones okay maybe four okay now we have our tail and after that uh, I want to have control on the hips so I am going to uh, parent this and this bone to this bone in edit mode Keep offset and so now in post mode we have control okay okay after that we can see that our arm is uh, like stuck in one place and our tail is stuck too so we are going to select uh, the control this one and the tail control and imparting them to this part keep offset again we go to post mode and we can see that our rig is ready yeah, I think it works pretty fine. Okay, that was quick. So, we are going to object mode. Uh, and... Ah, uh, no, sorry. On edit mode, we are going to select uh, the bones that we want to symmetrize. So, this, this. The ones that we renamed them with dot .r. This and this. And we will apply the magic... We are going to armature and symmetrize. Okay, so we have it done. Object mode, sorry, pose mode. One foot and the other. One little hand and the other. Okay, so this is ready. We are going to select the full, the full armature, press Alt R or G. So we get to the normal positions. And we are going to object mode. In object mode, uh, I will select the mesh, the base mesh of the tire. Uh, it's not tyrannosaurus, the carnosaurus. And select it and the armature. Double click again, sorry. First the mesh, then the armature. Control P. Uh, set parent to uh, with automatic weights. And that was quick. Uh, we are going to pose mode to see if it works. It works perfectly. Perfect. Yes. So we are going to parent. Uh, let's hide this guy. And parent the eyes with automatic weights again. Automatic weights. Automatic weights. Oh, yeah, these two. Let's go this, this, and no, you, not you. Mm, this automatically expose. Okay, yeah, perfect. Okay, object mode, Alt H to unhide. And I think that we are ready to go. Pose. Let's go. And when we open the jaw. I guess, yes, that's true. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, our weight paint is uh, dragging. Check, check. Check, check. Okay, perfect. <laughs> okay, our weight paint is dragging our uh, upper teeth down. So what do we need to do? In object mode, we are going to grab the teeth and go to our vertex uh, in object data properties, uh, we 
have to find in vertex groups the jaw. Jaw, where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Mm, okay. Did I name it? Oh, that's because I didn't name it. Name your bones. Jaw. Okay. Object uh, vertex. Jaw. Here you are. So uh, we have to select the jaw and press the minus so we don't get that in our way. Okay, so now they are in their place. Pose mode. Ah, oh, double click. I hate this mouse. Mm -hmm. Select this. I will rename it with uh, F. <sighs> I need to buy another mouse. Uh, vertex, jaw, delete. Okay, I didn't delete the head now. Pose mode. Perfect. Okay. Mm, so I think that we are done. Yeah, we actually have our current source ready. Mm, I think that's all for today. <laughs> uh, maybe we can animate. This is ready to animate, so we can uh, we can make this guy dance or whatever that we want. Let's grab this. Move this way. Move this way. Like this, we will set the auto keying mode on. Uh, let's set the animation for 200 and something uh, keyframes. Uh, let's grab the keys, hit G, space, G. And now we have a dancing dinosaur. Okay, 73. Let's go. You can do whatever you want. And this this rig is ready to to dance or to animate your paleo art. Um, I will be more than happy to see all your creations. Uh, please tag me up on Instagram. Send me your send me your art. Uh, I will be more than happy to to see what do you do with this tutorial. So okay, I think that's done. Uh, we can set our uh, camera. Uh, sh shift zero. No, it's control shift. Yeah, it's control alt zero to set the camera in place. Uh, oh, okay. We have two cameras. Uh, let's set a good place here. And we will hit F12 to render. Okay, um, let's check the render. Initiate to render result. Nice. Okay, so we have now a rig to make whatever we want. <laughs> um, to make the vegetation and the scenes, I actually use the Ian Hubert uh, set that he is giving free, well, on Patreon. Go and check that guy work his brilliant he has a lot of uh, assets to give so search him on instagram and check all his work and patronize him because he gives a lot a lot of good stuff if you want to uh, i can make a tutorial to create the environment and everything just hit me up in the comments tell me whatever you want to learn whatever you want to see uh so I think that's all for today. And again, thank you so much for your patience. Like, subscribe, comment, send me your work. I will be happy to see that. Um, tell me whatever you want to learn. Uh, I will be here. Um, thank you so much. And thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.